every week there seems to be another fashion brand getting into trouble. Last week it was Gucci <laughs> for selling a sweater that resembled blackface. And this week it's Burberry for this hoodie, which debuted during London Fashion Week that is accessorized with a noose around the model's neck. As expected, people were furious over the hoodie, which was eventually pulled with Burberry CEO Marco Gabetti issuing an apology that read, we are deeply sorry for the distress caused by one of the products that featured in our AW 2019 runway collection. Though the design was inspired by the marine theme that was throughout the collection, it was insensitive and we made a <coughs> mistake. One of the models featured in the show, Liz Kennedy, said on Instagram that she tried to speak out against the hoodie, but was ignored, adding that she saw staffers joking about the news, which, the, which one allegedly was hanging it from the ceiling. So not okay. Liz said in part, suicide is not fashion. It is not glamorous or edgy. And let's not forget about the horrifying history of lynching either. So Mike, yeah, I'm here for Liz Kennedy. Uh, but I'm curious, Mike, what do you think of this horrific hoodie? My wife and I are friends of a couple, um, DMAP and Kelly, who own a brand called Melrose High. Mm -hmm. um, very high end, very dope. They happen to be a black couple. And he told us just last night um, in a discussion in my, my barber shop, um, he said, high fashion, we as working class people tend to love, fall in love with something, and then we saturate it to the point, we buy all of it, those who can't afford it by counterfeit, they get afraid that their high-end customers are gonna get afraid because people who look like the people on this panel mm, are buying their stuff, it. you know? And they do things like this just to turn us away, so we'll turn away from a while. Mm. So my thing is what? that we should be supporting brands like the one I'm wearing, Air Max, I mean, um, Air Max, we should, which is a very overqualified to be a t-shirt and expensive, but it's nice. We should be shopping at places like Phoenix Sky, which is where I buy my white stuff, which is a black, a black woman named Maya owns that. And we should be buying brands like Kosher Classics, which makes an amazing loafer comparable to Gucci. And we should be buying stuff like Melrose Hot. So if, wow. if my grandmother always said, don't stay where you ain't want it. So once you show you not want it, stay away for a while. But I really like what T.I. and Spike Lee did around Gucci because Gucci restole something that was stole from them. Dapper Dan in the late yes, 80s did an right. amazing right. run and really showed them how to be fly. Tom Ford or one designer went over there and then snatched his stuff, redid it, and then they said, oh my God, you're stealing from Dan. So then they went and hired Dan. I think that that's progress if we get more hires. We have Virgil at Louis Vuitton, Dan at Gucci, Spike and Tip were like, you need to hire more black designers so we can be influencing from the inside. So if you still want to buy yeah. Gucci after a 90-day boycott, meaning take their sales down for a quarter, let them know that our money matters in a quarter of a year, yes. make them hire people who look like the people on this panel, and you know, if you really, really don't want us to buy your stuff, then just let's walk away forever and find the black designers who are making high-end stuff to buy.